For those of you who might be interested in how I actually put this dark sensing light together, uh, I have the circuit on the breadboard here and I'm going to transfer this to a perf board. Actually you don't even need this, you can just twist everything together. I'm going to go over more or less step by step on how to make this 4 LED solar light. Okay, this is the breadboard in which I tested the circuit. You will need some resistors. This is 100K, you need one of them only. And for a 4 light unit, you need 4 91 ohm or 90 ohm resistor. You can have a little perp board like this. This is, I think, 2 inch by 2 inch. And 4 LEDs. These are just 3.3 volt uh, bright white LEDs. You need a photo sensor. One BC547 transistor. And if Depending on the battery that you're using, if you're using lithium ion, you can you need a charge controller like this. This is only a couple of dollars. Or if you're using other batteries, you might need a voltage booster like this one here. This is again also a couple of dollars. So I'll go into that a little later. But this is the actual fun part, or not so fun part, if you can't get it to work. So, I'll just take one of these 100K. You just stick what stick it in the perp board, like so. No, sorry, you can't see that. Okay, like like so. And then you have your BC547. Uh, you have to be able to tell which size the collector and the emitter. The middle is the base. If you lay it flat, there's a flat part and there's a wrong part. Put the flat part down and the pin on the right is the collector and the pin on the left is the emitter. So with the flat part faces you, stick it into three of the holes of on your perp board. Try not to bend the resist it too much because you bend them a couple of times and then it breaks off and then uh, that's it finally got it in like I said they can be a little pain in the neck okay now put your photo resistor one leg in, in line with the base of the transistor and one leg with the emitter. That's the leg on the right. Just stick it in like so. And now you have to put all your LEDs in. Okay. Depending on how you're going to have your light hooked up, you might want to drill a hole in your case and pass it through the case. But I'm going to keep this in the bottle, so it doesn't matter for me. So, stick it in. There's a positive and negative. The negative the positive is the long leg and the negative 
is the short leg. So you just stick four of them in equal distance. I have the camera in front of me so it's a little hard to work with. Okay, you, you stick four of them in. The left, the left side of the LED is in line with the collector. I don't know if you can see it too clearly. It has to be in line with the collector. And then you push them in. You have to solder. I'm not going to solder because uh, I'm just going to show you how to connect all this. Okay. And twist them together. Again, you, you can use your pliers. Right? Okay. Okay. Now you have four, four resistors. What I do is I just twist all of them together. Right, both ends. One end would be your positive connection. Okay, and you tie this with the LED, the pin on the left, the positive. You can solder them together. Okay, so this would be your positive wire. Okay, what else now? Solder your LED onto the breadboard. And you have to solder this 100K resistor to the base. The wire is so small, it's hard to see. Bend the base of the transistor over and solder it together with the resistor wire. That's the 100K resistor. Okay. And then you have the other end of the resistor wire over here. That would be your positive also. Okay, what else you have the and what you have le left now and what's left now is the wire to the photo sensor one of them has to be soldered to the emitter you have to twist it together and solder it And then the other end, the left side, you solder that together with the base of the transistor. So you twist that together. Okay, so now you can start soldering everything together onto the board because you twisted all the wires together you hook up your wire from the resistor and tie it up with all the other resistors that would be your positive wire and the negative wire would be the wire over here where you have the emitter and the photo cell that are tied together. The resistors here, I just twist them together and put a little bit of solder on it. Here I have another resistor in the back and 
I'm just going to solder it so it's going to be yeah so they'll stick together should be okay now okay looks good something like this this would be your negative I soldered this part before and this is the positive and you might want to solder another piece of wire to this so it makes a better connection right now this is just uh, the wire of the resistor which is very flimsy and you might do the same thing with the positive and clean up some of the wiring snip it off and that's it that's and now you can connect the negative to the emitter side of the uh, connection and your light is going to be in working condition the positive is on the uh, the middle the base right and and this light is working you shade it it will come on if you put the transistor the wrong way it will still light up but it will be dimmer so this is about about three volt when you connect it this this way I tested it before these are 3.3 volts forward bias so 3 volt is okay they're bright enough so that's your that's your connection and now how do you connect it to your the rest of your your light okay so now you have to make the connection from your solar panel to your battery box and you would have to use a charge controller if you're using a lithium ion battery if you're using another kind of battery you might want to use a um, voltage booster like this because I'm using a small solar panel it won't have enough uh, voltage to charge the double A battery box that I have there I'm going to use four double A and you need about 5.5 to 5.8 volts to charge it uh, to full capacity anyway so this is the voltage booster converter board you can buy for a couple of dollars on eBay and basically you feed the output of your solar panel to the input and the output you can feed into a connector like this but you have to use a diode and you put the silver band of the diode uh, towards your battery so your your battery won't flow back the current won't flow back towards the controller and the solar panel so you don't want to uh, do that and to connect to the light you can add another at this end here add another positive wire and another negative wire and hook that up to your light and then your setup is complete and then all you have to do is find a container I've been using a glass jar for that purpose because glass is uh, fairly permanent this this one is my indoor light so I'm I just use the AC adapter case for this and everything is enclosed in there for this particular light I didn't use the circuit board I just twisted everything together and it worked fine this light works fine it worked for a whole week uh, with the lithium ion battery with AA batteries I'm not sure how long it will last this one by the way I use a lithium uh, battery controller and you can use also use USB to charge it 
aside from the solar panel. So that's it. That's you can try it and let me know how it works. I'm not a technician. I'm not a uh, electronic expert. I'm just a beginner like most of you.